Andy Parkin from Screed Testing. I'm here to talk about the BRE Screed Tester. With less than 1% of all screeds tested for in-situ crushing resistance, are we storing up problems for the future? As defined in BS 8204 Part 1 2003, the BRE screed tester is the method to, to determine a screed's resistance. The screed is subjected to repeated impact blows by dropping a weight vertically down a guide into a hardened steel anvil in contact with the screed surface. The depth of the indentation from the resulting impact after four blows is measured. The sample area needs to be flat, smooth and free from all loose dirt and grit. Once the area is selected, the micrometer measures the surface and that measurement is recorded. Can be plus or minus and will need to be added or subtracted from the test results. The rod is then positioned vertically with the bubble nicely centred to ensure it drops with its full force. The weight is dropped four times in the same position and then the indentation is measured. Depending on the category of the floor, heavy duty commercial, general commercial and domestic and light use, please see the category table. The categories are defined in the British Standard 8204 Part 1 2003. It splits uh, the categories up into uh, three, category A, B and C. With category A as heavy duty, commercial, so that's expected to take very heavy foot traffic, heavy trolleys, uh, so it's looking for the, the real extremes in, uh, in, in traffic. Category B is medium, and that's for still heavy foot traffic, medium weight trolleys, so for kind of schools, restaurants, uh, you know, can be hospitals, uh, etc. And category C, and that is for, for light traffic, so light foot traffic, light trolleys, light use in, in offices and uh, domestic applications. To pass, the indentation needs to be less than 3mm for, for category A, 4mm for category B and 5mm for category C. Test sampling is not less than three tests in areas less than 20 square metres and three tests on each 20 to 25 square metres of screed laid in larger areas. Corridors should be tested at three to five metre intervals. All tests should avoid bay joints and cracks. Make sure they are no nearer than 300 mil. That is the basics of the BRE screed test. If you need a, a test on your screed, then please contact us for further information.